Good evening. Thanks for watching 11 News at 10 tonight. I'm Adam Atchison. And I'm Lindsay Boach. First at 10, we have brand new pictures tonight of a woman who was brutally murdered in her work parking lot. This is 62 year old Dorothy King and tonight community members are coming together to support her family. April 17th, police say that King died while trying to fend off a carjacker who attacked her in the parking lot of her workplace called Bingo World, which is off South Academy and Airport Road. And that's where we find 11 News anchor Blake Salmon. Blake, tonight is the first time that we are hearing from King's family about all this. Guys, that's right. I spoke to one of King's daughters. She says she wants justice for her mom for what happened here in this parking lot. But she also says she wants people to know how grateful she is for the outpouring of support she and her family have received. <laughs> It was a day of laughter, friendship, and food for those who gathered at the Hall of the Order of Fraternal Eagles 143. They came together for a potluck to honor the memory of Dorothy King and raise money for her family. King's daughter says her mom loved people and loved life. I mean, she was the biggest fan, the, be the best friend, the, the coolest mom anybody could ever ask for in a person. I mean, she was just everything rolled into one. It wasn't just King's family members who remember her fondly. Jackie Robertson with the Eagles says she used to run bingo with King on Mondays. She worked the concession stand and she was funny, very funny. And if she got really busy, she'd get really worked up and she was a hoot. She was just so fun to listen to. Robertson says King supported them, so now it's their turn to support her. So we we're like, absolutely, you can use our building. Uh, we'll help with the potluck. We'll help raise money and do whatever we can. King's daughter says the amount of support has been overwhelming. I just want to thank everybody, like from the bottom of our hearts, truly, because it it is definitely moving to see how much people like really still care and do have hearts. Now, the person accused of killing King last appeared in court on Saturday. Nathaniel Buckman is still being held in the El Paso County Jail on a bond of a little over $1 million. He'll make his next court appearance in about two weeks. Live in Colorado Springs, I'm Blake Salmon, 11 News. Back to you guys. And this is a case we followed from the beginning. We'll continue to do that as it makes its way through the courts. Blake, thank you.